here we go so guys today is friday and here we go you are watching sports corner gh and my name is adam in today's video we are going to talk about the latest transfer update concerning Ghanaian and black star players but before we jump into it i want to give you headlines of what we are going to talk about in today's video so inter milan are interested in a defensive midfielder who plays in the ghana premier league they are not the only ones aston miller are also interested in the striker who plays in the Ghana Premier League. We are going to talk about who these two players are. We keep on hearing rumors that Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is being linked to Chelsea. How true is that? We are going to talk about that and many more live here on Sports Panagi. So guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe and turn on notification. Next is shout out to every single person watching this video. Shout outs to you. Thank you for everything and you guys are too much. Quickly, let's jump into it. The first player we are going to talk about would be Osman Bukhari. The Ghana Black Star winger who currently plays for Red Star Belgrade. Red Star Belgrade just won the Serbian Cup and also the Serbian League back to back. And Emma says Osman Bukhari signed from Gent in 2022 for 3 million euros. He has been a big hit for Red Star Belgrade. His latest transfer update is that MLS side Austin FC are willing to table down 7 million euros for the player. And per multiple reports, Red Star Belgrade are looking to accept this offer. This season so far, Osman Bukhari has scored 10 goals and given 10 assists for Red Star Belgrade across all competition. Now, if you want to take a broader look at the statistics, ever since joining from Gent, he has scored 25 goals, given 12 assists in 77 games for Red Star Belgrade, which is not bad at all in my own opinion. We can't also forget the goal he scored against Manchester City in the UCL group stages. I mean, that goal is still fresh in our memories. But guys, the latest transfer update concerning Osma Bukhari is that MLS side, Austin FC, have tabled down 7 million euros and per multiple reports, Red Star Belgrade are looking to accept this offer from the MLS side. But then there's a twist to this transfer because this morning, I did my research and I noticed that the sporting director for Red Star Belgrade says that currently, Osman Bukhari is still their player and he knows nothing about this transfer. But I know all these things, they, they are just stuck. When the money lands on the table, the player will show you. But then time will tell and we'll make sure to bring you that update live here on Sports Corner GH. The next player we are going to talk about would be Abdul Fatal Ishahaku. We all know how Abdul Fatal Ishahaku left Sporting CP on loan to Leicester City and became a huge hit for Leicester City, helping them get promoted to the EPL. In that process, Abdul Fatah Mishahaku scored 6 goals and gave 13 assists, which is quite impressive for his first time playing in England. But people forget how influential the coach has been on Abdul Fatah Mishahaku's success. The name of the coach is called Enzo Mareska. Now, the coach of Leicester City, Enzo Mareska, used to be an assistant coach to Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. So he left Pep and came to Leicester City because he wanted to gain more experience. And guess what? He used Leicester City to improve his CV and got them promoted to the EPL. With Chelsea, we know they are looking for a coach after sacking Mauricio Pochettino. And guess which coach is in the, is in the driving seat to become the next coach of Chelsea? Enzo Maresca. And this is why Abdul Fatah Ishahaku and Chelsea are in the same conversation because a lot of people believe that Enzo Mareska's favorite player is Abdul Fatah Ishahaku. In fact, he single-handedly supervised the loan transfer of Abdul Fatah Ishahaku from Sporting CP to Leicester City and made sure the player became one of the best wingers in the championship. And Chelsea fans believe that if Enzo Mareska is coming to Chelsea and he gets a chance to sign a player, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is coming. Looking at how the Chelsea project is, they are signing young players for the future. And this is the reason why Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is being rumored to be linked to Chelsea. And that is the explanation. We'll make sure to bring you more info about it live here on Sports Corner GH. Next is Stefan Ambrosius, the Ghana Black Star defender who plays for Hamburger SV. In fact, he joined the Hamburger SV when he was 13 years of age and has been playing the same club for 12 years. And currently, his contract with the club has expired and also he's a free agent. He was through the ranks playing the junior teams of Hamburger SV in the Bundesliga 2, did so well and was able to break into the senior team. Ever since joining the senior team of Hamburger SV, 
he has only made 49 appearances. He battled a lot with injuries and at one point he went on loan. But then the latest transfer update we are receiving is that his contract with the club has ended and currently he's a free agent. We are going to make sure to follow up on his progress and see which team he's going to play next. But guys, this is the latest update concerning Stefan Ambrosius who is currently a free agent. Next player we are going to talk about is another defender from the Black Stars and it's called Kasim Nuhu Adams who currently plays for Hofiel. Now the thing about Kasim Nuhu Adams is that this season he has only played one game for Hofiel. This is no only one game for Hofiel but this player keeps on getting called up to the Black Stars time after time. Now what we are hearing is that his contract with Hofiel has expired and Hofiam are not interested in renewing his contract. So currently, he's also a free agent. He's also going to look for a club to play because his time at Hofiam did not really, really, really pan out. His time at Hofiam really, really didn't go well. So guys, this is another transfer update concerning a black star player called Kasim Nuhu Adams. Let's move away from him and talk about Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay. Now, what we are hearing is that Memphis Depay would be leaving at the net court de Madrid. Now, originally, he signed a two and a half year contract with Atletico de Madrid in 2023 for 4 million euros from Barcelona. But for some reasons, mutually, both the player and also the club have agreed to part ways so that Memphis Depay will become a free agent. Per multiple reports, we hear he could be going back to Lyon. Yes, per multiple reports, he could be going back to Lyon. But then Memphis Depay the update we are hearing is that he's definitely going to leave Atletico de Madrid. He originally signed a two and a half year contract in 2023, but then he wants to leave and they have mutually agreed on it. So guys, that is the latest transfer update concerning Memphis Depay. So guys, moving away from Memphis Depay, let's talk about another latest transfer concerning Ghanaian player who plays in the Ghana Premier League. Now, according to Daily Mail, Aston Villa and Celtic are interested in James FC forward and also striker Aziz Musbao. Now, Aziz Musbao also played for Ghana under 20 and they just ended all African games where Ghana won gold. He was very influential for that team and also played in the CAF Confederation Cup where he performed very well, currently playing in the Ghana Premier League. And Aston Villa and Celtic are interested in this player. Now, James FC values the player at 1.2 million euros. So if you have that money, for Aston Villa and Celtic, you can come in for that player. Now, he's not the only one. What we also hear is that Inter Milan are also interested in a player called Emmanuel Eje, who also plays for Dreams FC. He's a defensive midfielder, 18 years of age, and a very good player of that matter. Now, Inter Milan are willing to sign the player, and Dreams FC values the player at 750,000 euros. So if you have that money, Inter Milan, can just go in and take this player. So guys, this is the latest update concerning two players in the Ghana Premier League who have been linked to top European clubs according to the Daily Mail. So guys, the reason why these top European clubs are interested in Dreams FC players is because of Abdul Fattah Ishaharku because he has been a big hit for Leicester City. And now, all these big teams are looking to go and pick players for Dreams FC and because Dreams FC also played in Africa, it tops the reason why they are no going for players from Dreams FC. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about some Right to Dream players. Now, two players from Right to Dream have left the academy and have gone straight to Northern. We know how the pathway is. If you play at Right to Dream, you go to Northern. From Northern, then the future is just in front of you. Now, these two players are Steven Aqua. Steven Aqua is a defender and also Levi Nene. Levin and he's an attacker and these two players have both joined Nordland from right to June. And we all know how it has been for Kudus, for Kamal Odin, for NS Nyama, for a lot of players who left right to June to Nordland and currently are playing in big European clubs and a lot of talent. And I always say this, very soon the Black Stars will be full of right to June players because they at the rate at which they are producing quality players who are playing at top clubs is mind-boggling and mind-blowing. And currently, these two players are on their way, taking the same path from right to green to Northland. Their name once more is Steven Aqua, who is a defender, and Levi Nene, who is an attacker. Lastly, let's talk about Jamie Lewene. Jamie Lewene. Now, this player at the point, we all wanted him to come make play for Ghana, but I don't know the situation yet. He's a German-born Ghanaian player. But then, 
the good news is that his loan move with Stuttgart have been made a permanent one. Now, he was a loan from Union Berlin and playing at Stuttgart at the just ended Bundesliga season, and he was a big hit for them. He scored 10 goals in 38 appearances for them while in loan. And because of his performances, Stuttgart have decided to take the player on a permanent basis, which is very interesting. This player is very lethal. He's very good and has been a very good addition to the Stuttgart team in the Bundesliga. So guys, this is the latest update we have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. Let me know your thoughts about it. Which of these transfer updates interests you a lot? We'll make sure to bring you updates on all of them. Um, Aziz Musbao to Aston Villa and also Celtic. How interested are you in this particular one? Because I'm really, really interested. we we'll follow up on it and bring you more updates on that. Emmanuel Eje to Inter Milan, also from Dreams FC. Dreams FC are going to make a lot of money. I'm better to see how it's worth. Dreams FC are going to cash out. They are not the only ones. Osman Bukhari to Austin FC in the MLS, 7 million euros. Uh, we have already talked about Stefan Ambrosius and also um, Kasim Nu Adams, who are both free agents because their contract with their clubs have expired and they have not really you know performed at the just ended season so guys this is the latest update we have for you concerning and the black star players life was post on a g8 let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section thanks for joining me my name is adam i'll make sure to see you in the next one Charlie, we go vibe